Hi friends, in the last session we have studied about blocks, PL SQL basic unit, two type of blocks, named blocks and anonymous blocks and um, now we'll do the practice session for the blocks. For that we need to create a few tables in the database. Uh, you can see I'm using Toad and I'm already connected to this tel comma user which we have created in our previous sessions. So uh, if you want to check how many users you have go to session tab then click on new connection here you can view all your users this, these are the three users I have created and I have saved their connections their database uh, localhost 1521 is the port name and then ORCL is the service we have discussed this earlier also so this is the version where we have uh, in which we are working so we'll create a few tables before uh, on which we will write the PL SQL blocks for that you can create any of your dummy tables or I have created a few you can uh, write same tables in your uh, database also or you can write by yourself also but let's see what I've created first so I've created a table uh, that is department master and uh, with the uh, department code as barcat 2 department name hod last updated by and last updated date as four columns here then a unique index on the department master uh, on the tape on the column department code that means department code is the unique one and uh, there would no there would be no duplicacy for the department code and then the primary key also on the department code using the same index so let's execute this command first i'll select uh, all these three and then uh, open in the new tab control c then i'll uh, execute all these commands directly by control a then uh, f5 is used for is a shortcut for using for executing this command insufficient privileges so it's showing insufficient privileges we need to grant the we need to grant give the grant privileges to the user I'll give the grant privileges to them then I'll execute these tables so create these tables by yourself also or do the practice session on creating the tables so I've created two another one another table is the department uh, employee master table so this is having many columns you can read employee code employee prefix first name last name and the math in the department code so um, i've added a, a comment over over here also that the m prefix uh, the call comment on the column m prefix that is m pre prefix could be mr ms and MR, mrs mr miss and mrs so uh, again i've created index on the employee master table with the amp code then uh, primary key on the amp code using the index uh, idx underscore amp code uh, on the same column amp code so this is the primary key and as well as i've indexes index that column um, we'll read we'll study the indexes in the further uh, lectures so and then I've created a foreign key on this uh, on the employee master table with the reference for a uh, foreign key on the department code of the employee master table reference to the department master table which I have created uh, in the previous um, in the previous uh, um, previously we have created the same table department master then uh, this means that the the, depa the department code 
values in the department master table would be inherited into the employee master department code uh, that means the all the values which exist in department master um, table or for the department code would only be present in the employee master department code there uh, it, it's not like that department code number let's suppose department note there is a number department code number 100 it's not present in the department master table but we want to insert in the employer master table then it will give it will throw me an error that uh, that the foreign key is not uh, foreign key is not working so create the tables for using it further and uh, i'll give the grant session grant for creating the tables and views to my session i'll show you how to give the grants also then we'll carry forward with the next session thanks you